Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Teamworks. I hope you've been enjoying your sessions in the classroom. Now you're gonna get a chance to go outside and have some fun outside. But don't forget, we're still in the team building phase, so we really wanna get our kids to continue honing in on those skills. So continue promoting teamwork, the value of teamwork, finding your value on the team, finding others' values on the team, and how we bring all our strengths together to be a winning team. So don't forget about that. And also, unfortunately, when we get in these larger group sessions, that little ugly, poor, sore loser thing comes out. So let's really teach our kids to how to exercise some good sportsmanship, all right? So continue you know, promoting teamwork and exercising good sportsmanship. And it's not about winning or losing, but it's about finding what are our strengths and how we can improve uh, on our, you know, maybe our weaknesses, like overcome our challenges as a team, all right? So those are the messages, the key messages at the end of the day. But we're gonna go outside and we're gonna have fun. So you're gonna meet in your classrooms first. Um, there'll be a specific time where you're gonna go meet in your designated area. And then from there, your program coordinator is gonna be waiting there with all the fun activities that you guys are gonna get ready to do. So before we get started, while you're in your classrooms doing your what's good with you, you got a question of the day. How important is winning to you? I know my answer to that one. Um, and then the next part of the question is, would you rather be on a winning team with teammates you don't get along with? Again, would you rather be on a winning team with team members that you don't get along with? Or would you be better suited on a losing team with people that you really like and respect? All right, so those are the two, two, two different varying perspectives. One is always on a winning team with people you don't like, and one is on a losing team with people that you really like. All right, so how important is winning to you? Good question, all right? Now let's get into our fun activities for the day. Remember, team building phase, continue promoting teamwork, working as a team. The first one is balloon challenge, balloon challenge race. Pretty simple, all the teams are gonna be lined up at one end of the field or NPR room or the gym, and then they're gonna race back and forth to some end point and back. On this activity, you're gonna run, your teammates are gonna run one at a time, and there's gonna be a super large, extra large t-shirt and a balloon. Super large, extra t-shirt and a balloon. And what they have to do is keep the balloon in the air and put this t-shirt on. Keep the balloon in the air, take the t-shirt off. If the balloon hits the ground, they gotta run back and start over, all right? So, again, keep the balloon in the air, put your t-shirt on, keep the balloon in the air, take the t-shirt off, leave the t-shirt, grab the balloon, run back to your team, hand it off to the next person, all right? Balloon in the air, t-shirt off, balloon in the air, t-shirt off, put the t-shirt back, grab the balloon and run back. So, I'm gonna demonstrate really quickly and see if I can do this, all right? An impossible feat, but let's see if I can do it. Five, six, seven, eight, here we go. Keeping that balloon in the air, 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 okay. Oh, oh, keeping that balloon in the air. I'm sure you guys want to know if I can really do it. Keep that balloon in the air, and I'm going to try to see if I can really, really do this activity. Keeping the balloon in the air, keeping the balloon in the air. Here we go, and oh, oh. we're almost there, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go, 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 here we go. Ta-da, there's part one, part one is done. All right, now I gotta take it off, and here, I'm gonna try to do this in one shot here, and oh, 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 okay, here we go, and ta-da, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. So that's the first one, and then I would leave the t-shirt and run back and pass it to the next team member, all right? So that's your balloon change race. Next, puzzle piece relay. What's puzzle piece relay? We're gonna furnish you with a puzzle, 24 pieces in that puzzle. Um, and this one again is pretty simple, everybody's lined up. Um, and at the finish line, they're gonna put a puzzle together, but they can only do it one puzzle piece at a time, one student at a time. So your program coordinator is gonna go, hey, here's how we're gonna play the game, you have 30 seconds to strategize. Here's what they're gonna strategize. They can either strategize and put their puzzle piece, to their puzzle together here at the starting line and then just know logically that they're gonna run and how they're gonna place it at the finish line. Or maybe they decide they just wanna take all the puzzle pieces to the finish line and build it over there at the finish line. So it's their choice. Let your students, again, um, you know, getting them to foster that discovery, getting them to figure out what is that strategy or that game plan to win this activity. So puzzle piece relay. So let's say I go and maybe my team decides, hey, we're gonna take every puzzle piece at a time and we're gonna build that puzzle over there. Now, only one person at a time can always kind of be in motion or be out there putting the puzzle piece together. You can't have two or three students doing it. So one student at a time at all times. Let's say I grab my first puzzle piece, I'm gonna to run to the finish line, I stick it on there. Next student's gonna come run to the finish line, stick it on there. Next one's gonna go, remember 24 pieces, not just three pieces. 
and then we're going to do it. And my team decided we want to put it together at the finish line. So I'm going to try to figure out how to put my puzzle together at the finish line. Oh, there you go. And we're the winning team. All right, so there you go. Puzzle piece relay, pretty simple. And the next one is teamwork squares, teamwork squares. Each student will get their own teamwork square, i.e. construction paper. Um, so if you have 10 kids, each student will get a piece of construction paper. You gotta have one extra piece though. So 10 kids means you need 11 pieces of construction paper. And pretty much what they're gonna do is they're gonna have a starting point, there'll be this midpoint, and then they have to come back. So they're doing like this little loop. And they're gonna just lay like a bridge. They're gonna lay this bridge and everybody's got to be standing on a piece of construction paper. They cannot not be standing on a piece of construction paper. So it required. You have to stand on a piece of, that was our water guy, if you're wondering what I was looking at. Looking at. Uh, anyway, so um, they have to stand on it, all right? So pretty much everybody will throw their, their piece of cardboard down and everybody will get on it. And that's why you need that extra piece so that there's one free space for everybody to move to, all right? Don't forget your perm coordinator will be there if that didn't make perfect sense because I wasn't able to really demonstrate that for you, but it's pretty simple. Again, kind of creating a bridge, stepping on it, everybody's got to step on it. They can pretend that, you know, there's you know shark infested waters and they don't want to fall off of it and just go to that midpoint and come back around, all right? So that's teamwork squares, pretty simple. Teamwork squares, we're done with that. Um, our next one, three-legged spoon race. How many of you have done the three-legged race? Hey, it's a spin on the three-legged race. How many of you have done that egg race where you're carrying a spoon on an egg? Hey, a spin on that. We've merged the two. We've married the two. You have students come up in pairs. You're going to tie their ankles. Um, make, make sure you tie their ankles, not their shins, not their knees, not their thighs, their ankles, so that it makes it more difficult. Um, once they're tied together and their legs are tied, both students will get a spoon, again, a little nice little plastic spoon, and a tennis ball. And just like those races, you're gonna to race to that midpoint and come back, and what you have to do is keep that tennis ball on that spoon without it falling. The tennis ball fall, of course, naturally, you gotta start over. So don't let them cheat. They, you know, make sure that they're not trying to do little things to kind of hold on to the tennis ball. Make sure it's really fair, and they're holding the end of that spoon, and then they're running and whatever. So again, if it falls, you gotta start over. So ladies and gentlemen, that's it in a nutshell. Those are your field days. You've got your program coordinator, so if you can just be supportive of your program coordinator, keeping your kids in line, again, promoting that teamwork um, and good sportsmanship, then it's bound to be successful and everybody's gonna have a good time. All right, again, team building phase, building team building skills, giving a chance now for everybody to kind of get together and have some, what? My favorite F word, what is that? F-U-N, it's Will signing out.